The Northeastern University Mars Rover Team is a diverse collection of 35 members from across the university's colleges of engineering, science, and computer science. We've approached the 2019 URC with a systems-based strategy that breaks the rover into five subsystems. Chassis, mobility, arm, life detection, and communications. Each of these systems has been optimized to complete specific parts of this year's competition. The combination of these subsystems has culminated into our 2019 rover, Watney Mark I. We've designed our rover to be as stable as possible in motion. We use the full 1.2 meter width allowance and a chassis height of 0.7 meters to keep our center of gravity low and well supported. In order to meet the requirements of the task, we designed our rover to be robust and adaptive. Our arm and science payloads are interchangeable with common electrical and mechanical interfaces, allowing us to quickly set up for a new task. The rover will have three main configurations. Manipulation, which is used for any task requiring the arm. Life detection, which replaces the arm with our science payload. And autonomous, which uses the arm and a stereo camera for navigation. Using lightweight metals and composite materials, we are able to make our rover extremely light and strong. The base configuration weighs 35 kilograms, Total weight, including all of our subsystems, is only 50 kilograms. The structural integrity of the chassis is achieved through a custom welded aluminum frame with a factor of safety greater than three for all components. A polycarbonate enclosure is also used to mount and protect all electronics. The mobility system features a rocker bogey suspension that was chosen for its stability and climbing capabilities. Each wheel is individually driven by a high torque motor in each hub. With these motors, our rover can climb a 45 degree incline with only three wheels on the ground. We've designed a sleek, robust, and maneuverable robotic arm to complete the competition tasks as efficiently as possible. High specific strength carbon fiber tubing connects six gear motors, enabling five degrees of freedom plus gripper actuation. Each motor is connected to a gearbox assembly, which amplifies torque and keeps the motors from back driving. The wrist joint has been specifically designed to enable 360 degrees of rotation without compromising cable routing with the use of a slip ring. The gripper fingers were designed to have pinned rubber fingertips to ensure a reliable grasp on any object we may encounter. The life detection subsystem can identify life and determine if it is extinct or extant using NIR spectroscopy, chemical test strips, and an ATP assay. We collect samples with our scoop and scan them with an adjustable height NIR module. Water is added to create a slurry, which is filtered and separated into individual sample sight lines for enzymatic and paper tests. We have successfully verified all critical components and the payload will be built by the end of March to allow time for system integration and testing on board the rover. The subsystem can distinguish between extant and extinct life through the detection of carbon-nitrogen sigma and carbon-carbon pi bonds, respectively. The paper tests assay glucose and proteins to further support the presence of extant life. The ATP assay provides strong evidence for extant life. We optimized all of our tests to match the conditions anticipated at the competition in Utah, including the use of dirt shipped from the region. We designed three custom boards to interface with our Jetson-powered system for power management, motor control, and science data collection. These boards contain 8-bit AVR microcontrollers that communicate with our sensors using I2C and the Jetson over raw serial to collect GPS, IMU, ultrasonic, and motor current data. Our communication system uses ubiquity IP radios operating on the 2.4 GHz bands. These radios offer complete control over transmission power and channel width at both the base station and the rover. We've tested this radio system at a distance of 1.2 kilometers using a directional antenna that tracks the rover using GPS data. We operate the rover through two Xbox controllers, one for arm and one for drive, to set speed through adjustable joystick sensitivity, with additional support from command line tools and macros. End effector control via the reverse kinematic movement library allows for intuitive and efficient use of the arm. The autonomous system interfaces with the drive as an always-on navigation node with object detection and mapping. For full autonomous, the searching pattern for finding the tennis ball is a modified outward spiral originating from the given GPS point. The autonomous system leverages several monocular cameras, a stereo camera, ultrasonic sensors, and the onboard Jetson for vision, processing, and route generation. None of this would have been possible without the hard work and dedication of our team members and the support of our sponsors. We are confident that we have a fully functional rover come met. See you in Utah!